going to talk about how addition and subtraction are connected. So I'm going to put two problems on the board, and we're going to solve them. In the first segment, our teacher demonstrates a beginning level use of helping students process new content. She works on the board and explains to the class each step she is taking. However, she is not engaging the students or monitoring their understanding of the new concepts. So when we look at those, we can kind of see, I see three groups here. I see 468, 374, and 842. And over here I see 842, 468, and 374. In the next segment, our teacher demonstrates a developing level of helping students process new content. As she works through the new content, she calls on students who are raising their hands, she asks and answers questions, and the class is engaged before they arrive at the answer. However, not all students are engaged, and she does not monitor each student's understanding of the new content. out, would you make sure that you have copied on your math notebook what I have on my math notebook? We have two problems. We're going to talk about how addition and subtraction are related. Do you see how I have the sentence stem up there that says addition and subtraction are related because, will you please finish that sentence in your math notebook and then we will get to share with each other what you saw. If you see a pattern, will you please write, I see a pattern and write about the pattern that you see. In this segment, our teacher demonstrates an applying level of helping students process new content by using the Think Write Pair Share strategy. She has the students work independently to solve the problem while she walks around the class and monitors for understanding. She then has students pair up and share what they have learned with one another. During this process, she continues to monitor and check off which students are understanding the content and which are not. Addition and subtraction because they are related. This final segment shows an innovating strategy to help students process new content. The student our teacher monitors has clearly demonstrated an understanding of new content earlier than his classmates. To further challenge the student while the others finish, she has him develop and solve his own example problem of the new content. So here's what I'm going to have you do I'm going to have you come up with a math problem, a three digit by three digit addition problem and I want to see if you can come up with the Do subtraction. I come up with them? You are going to come up with the opposite fact that goes with it that kind of makes that fact family like you talked about. Do I <coughs> but it will be a three digit plus three digit. Okay. okay. 